Maggie, I found something. It's far below the tomb, past some pretty ugly guards. A dead alien sealed inside a crystal pyramid. Sounds like they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. Must have been important to them. A king or something. Or it terrified them. Remember, this is the land of the life crystals. Dead doesn't necessarily mean dead dead. Maybe they were trying to keep it from being found and revived. But this is where the ghost wanted us to go. The key to the last door was the key that the first ghost showed us back in the ruined spaceship. Still, you don't have a key to the pyramid, right? Besides, how do you know the ghost is our friend? Hmm. Brink died by digging where the ghost pointed. A dig. I hate Brink is an idiot. information. I'm working as fast as I can to get this stuff translated. I'm so close I can taste it. Fine, keep working. Call me if you think of anything helpful. Well, there's five projections on this plate. And we have a roll with five engravements, so... Engraving so. Yeah. So, he's dead. Not much longer. He's very tall. Or I'm very short. I wish I, would be I, wish I didn't keep thinking of the term bite size. <laughs> Please be friendly. I hope you're friendly. I'm certainly friendly. Let's all be friends. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah. Who are you? Okay, this doesn't really make any sense. Well, hey, thanks. It's been great talking to you. So long. We should do this again sometime. So we need Maggie to translate. Yeah, we obviously need Maggie to translate. I'd better tell Maggie about this. Maggie. Come in, Maggie. Yes? What? Maggie, you won't believe what just happened. Boston, I think I've got it. I've got the language. I can read this stuff now. Can you speak it? Because I've got this. But take this inscription here. I'm pretty sure it's talking about... Maggie? My mind must be playing tricks on me. What were you saying about... Mom! What are you? What do you want? What's happening? What's going on? Boston! Frank! Anybody! Maggie! Brink, come in. Wherever you are, we need you. Something's happened to Maggie. Damn. What the heck was that? This is so typical for point and click adventures, right? When you figured something out and you see a chance of getting forward, something happens that just throws you back. <laughs> yeah, let's get Brink for help. If he will help. We'll see. What are you doing here, Lo? I don't want you here. Something happened to Maggie. She needs our help. Then go help her. What I'm doing here is important. Hey, if we felt that way about you, you'd still be dead. Hmm. 
You're the tough guy, though. You're the hero. Go do your hero activities <laughs> and let me do the science. Your hero activities. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you are doing? I appreciate your apparent concern. Really, I'm fine. But please, feel free to leave. I just have to somehow convince him. What kind of contraption has Brink made here? That's a good question. Brink. Maggie's in trouble. Then go help her. Hmm. Well, the only thing he really cares about are crystals. Never mind. And there's this crystal stash, so I have to get it from him, but I have to... I have to keep him busy while I'm doing it. So, yeah... Come on, guys. Let's get a look at you. No! Go away! Oh my god! <laughs> Almost sounded like a Terran ghost there. <laughs> yeah, just get his crystals. Then he'll help you. Or he'll kill you. <laughs> you thief! Give those back! I will, Brink. After you help me find Maggie. I'm not going to waste one moment on such a meaningless task. Yes, you will, Brink. <laughs> yes, you will. If you ever want these life crystals back. You're a miserable bully, Low. Typical military mind. Pushing other people around. Right. So follow me and do as you do. Too. <laughs> Is that rational enough for you? Okay, building up some tension here. So there were some nice caves back here, so maybe it's somewhere down here. Yeah, there's a nest. Hmm. Maggie! Maggie! Is that you? Are you alright? Oh. How can she be alright? She's bound up in that web! This guy is big and nasty. Smells pretty bad, too. Great, sealing something off. Oh, okay. If I go there, it's lunchtime. His lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, so we need a distraction. Okay. So maybe Brink can distract it. Brink. Unless we want to end up where Maggie is, we've got to get by this thing. The obvious plan is for one of us to distract him while the other one slips by. Maybe you are thinking better, Blake. You want to sneak in the street. I'll be the diversion. Come 
Come here, you phlegm, carapace, slime-faced, mucus brain, furry legged <laughs> doctor of luminously intelligent but pulchritudinous earth women. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, you idiot! Why are you what standing there? I'm still trying to figure out what you said. <laughs> Move your silly buttocks, you fool! <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what you just said. <laughs> oh, Boston, where are you going? I'm over here. <laughs> Don't leave me. <laughs> Bye, Maggie. Is there anything? No. Okay, we know this place. There's the faults. Oh, there's the fault source. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, this is how I... And another deadman switch. And there's a rock! Okay. The shovel won't help. At this point, I'm ready to try any damn thing. Yes. So just rerouting some of the water. Where were you? This monster has me trapped. Boston? Where have you been? I've diverted some of the water from the falls. I thought some of it might flow through here and wash the monster away. Well, instead, the monster's got Brink trapped up there, and I'm still stuck down here. I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that grave. Yeah, but I can reach it. Robins, can you reach it? Robins. What is that down there by you, Maggie? It looks like a grate sealing something off. It's a grate sealing something off. <laughs> what are you doing, Boston? <laughs> I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that grate. There should be a lot of pressure on it. I'll remember that if I need a bath. I've got to find a way to get rid of your six-legged boyfriend. Thanks. Just try to do it before he gets rid of me once and for all. Great. Oh, yeah. There's a grate down by me. If you can lure the monster over toward him, then when Maggie unclogs the grate, the water I diverted will hit it like a fire hose. This is seriously your plan? You have a better one? Maggie, can you get the grate open? Has anybody thought of the fact that if it does spout water like a fire hose, I'm right here? That's a good point, Maggie. Hold on tight. How do I hold on tight when I'm unclogging a grate? That's why you get the big bucks. Do it then. Just do it. It's only my life anyway. <laughs> okay. Come on, you ponderous exoskeleton. <laughs> you cocoon eating lobster face, cave dwelling arthropoidal elementary sphincter muscle. <laughs> sphincter muscle. <laughs> Worried about your. I was joking, Boston. 
You know, like you strong, manly types do when you just about get killed. Nice analysis. Maggie's safe now. I satisfied our little deal. So give me my crystals and let me get back to work. Brink, it's time for us to work together. I said give them to me! Whoa. Take one more step closer, Maggie, and you'll wish you were back with that giant lobster. Uh, he had it coming. He sure is weird. Now what? I've been getting the feeling that the ghosts want us to help them. As if they were stuck and wanted out. Stuck how? Well, the library console seemed to indicate that they may have left this world for another. What if they want to come back, but can't? I don't know. How will we go about helping, assuming that's what they want, and they wouldn't need us when they got back? Beats me. I'm just interpreting. Hmm. So let's pay this crypt guy a little visit. <clears throat> Now that Maggie's safe and ready to translate. Oh no, we have no life crystals. I, oh no, you're kidding me, right? Oh, he took them all from us. <laughs> oh, this this is annoying game design. <laughs> well, I could have I could have looked. I could have guessed that he took all of them. So we have to get some more from the museum spire. Just skip this. Robins. No, no Robins. Never mind. So, where's the museum spire? There it is. Okay, going down. The tram, go to the broken door, get some life crystals. Maybe I should take one more life crystal. No, maybe you should take some more. You never know when you need them. I'm back again. Okay, that was just some nuisance. <laughs> where you were before. So now let's see what this dead guy has to say. Here's where my alien education either pays off or we die. <laughs> die? As long as I don't accidentally offend him, we'll be okay. Akrash Park. He says, open your mouth, which is their way of saying, speak. Oh. 
You do the talking, Maggie, so <laughs> we can understand each other. Speak. Oh, okay. So we got a simultaneous translation. So maybe we should just ask him about who he, who the fuck he is. Who are you, honored one? The bringer of misfortune. Please tell me who you are. I am the doer who undoes, the creator who uncreates. And yet, I would gladly be the destroyer who undestroys, the dangerous one who protects. Speak plainly. Yeah. Tell us who you are. Once, I was hailed as the greatest mind my people ever produced. I tried to bring them power and happiness. I gave them power to leave this world, to leave their bodies, to enter an existence as pure mind, eternally perfect. But I could not give them the power to return and reclaim their abandoned bodies, mm -hmm. their decaying world. They are lost and cannot return. Have you a name? I had a name when I was alive. Now that I am again and again dead, what need have I for names? My body is now so ancient that the crystals scarcely have power over me. I rise for a few minutes, and then I fall again. Soon, I will cease to rise at all. Only then will my grief end. I want no name or memory to live after me. So these ghosts? What are the ghosts we saw? Are they alive? My people all travel to the realm of space-time six, where three dimensions of time join to the three dimensions of space. Mm -hmm. It is indescribably beautiful, but they can build nothing there. They can create nothing. They just exist on and on with empty lives and hearts that long for this hard and stony world. The ghosts are your people, then. Their connection to this world is so slight. They can disturb the energy in the air. They can make themselves visible for a few moments. But they can't build anything here. They will live forever. But it is not life. Is it impossible for your people to come back? It takes enormous strength of will to leave that place and come back to this one. They have all tried. They have all failed. And now they have been away too long. They have lost the physical memory of how to live here in space-time 4. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we have three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. So that's why we have like four dimensions, the three dimensions of space and the one dimension of time. But the place where they went to, they have three dimensions of space and three dimensions of time. So which is quite an interesting concept. We only have the possibility to move like into one way uh, in time, which is just forward, this uh, perception of time. And there we have like three dimensions of time, so forwards and backwards and up and down and uh, to the left and to the right, which is quite an interesting concept. Why did the ghost lead us to you? Some of them foolishly hope that if I help you open the gateway again, you might have the strength to lead them home, to let them remake their bodies here. But I am sure that all that would happen is you, too, would be lost in space-time six. The map helped us find you. Did you create it? It was created by those who now wish only to find themselves. The metal plates we found... What are they? They are authority and power. Each shape has a meaning. And when they are fitted together, they have a new meaning. Mm -hmm. If we put the control plates in the triangle, what will happen? 
You will open the door to beauty without boundaries. And to trouble without end. Why is this inscription in another kind of writing? I did not write it. I would not have written it. Okay. I can read it, but the meaning isn't clear. It speaks of something hidden. It was the first achievement on the road to my greatest error. The one that condemned my people. The language of the library was a great achievement. It was so clear and surprisingly easy to learn. The greater the idea, the simpler and clearer the language needed to express it. Hmm. That's a nice idea. The light bridges are magnificent. We never dreamed the people could walk on light. Ah, yes. We were happily surprised at how convenient those light strands turned out to be. If we had known, we would not have bothered to build the trams. Oh, so the light bridges just were some sort of side product. They didn't build them intentionally. The light bridges were if made for something else. If you were surprised that the lights could be used as bridges, what did you create them for? When all the bridges are complete, the eye will see. When you say, the eye will see, you aren't talking about our eyes, are you? An eye that can see the three dimensions of time, as well as the three dimensions of space. It will show you beauty beyond belief. But once you have seen space-time six, will you ever see space-time four again? The eye may be open, but the mind hasn't the strength to see. Did you invent the life crystals? To raise the dead is the greatest achievement we've seen. What raises the dead can debase the living. Are there side effects to the crystals? What the crystals create is not a life, but a slave. Mm -hmm. So when the life crystals restore you, you aren't really alive? They restore the cells and the organs but take away all that made the life worth living. Then why did you make them? Hmm. Our society became obsessed with living eternally. I underestimated the breadth and danger of the obsession. The crystals are the second worst mistake I made. Thank you for helping us. I will only have helped you when you give up your foolish plan. We're not giving up. My only consolation is that true death comes closer with each dying. Good job of translating, Maggie. Whoa. He speaks very slowly and clearly. But I'm also pretty damn good. <laughs> Are you sure we want to leave? He's loaded with information we might need. So we have to find all these metal plates, but where are they? has Brink made here? Brink. 
Frank, there's a dead alien sealed inside a crystal tomb. In a culture that can raise the dead, they probably have a good reason when they choose to bury somebody instead of reviving him. Now leave me alone. What are you? I don't have time to waste on foolish discussion of nothing. Mm. Why do I bother? Talking to you is a waste of time. Indeed. Okay, now we could use the tram. That's what we want. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look safe to walk there. Hmm. I can see a door, but can't touch it. Mm hmm. Yes, yeah, so that's what's pulling up. So where can we go now? This is the only spot we cannot reach now. Where are the other parts? Oh, there was one. There was one on this spire. Robbins. He's loaded with information we might need. Did I forget something? Have you learned anything about those metal plates? The shapes are all significant in their written language. They're also rich with symbolism in their culture. But you have no clue what they have to do with navigation, right? That's right. I'm a clue-free zone on that one. Have you learned anything about those metal plates? The shapes are all, all significant in their written language. They're also rich with symbolism in their culture. But you have no clue what they have to do with navigation, right? That's right. I'm a clue-free zone on that one. Now that you can read the library inscriptions, can you make any sense out of this? It didn't even look like the same language to me before. But now I can see the relationship between this writing and the things I read in the library. What does it say? It seems to be talking about an important thing, I don't know what, that was hidden. Any hints about where? On the other side of the hole, so that none may enter. Then it tells how to, um, pull back this part of entrance, whatever that means. It's pretty vague. There are some things that man was not meant to understand. Yeah, but this one even woman is having a hard time with. <laughs> Thanks. So did I miss all these metal plates? I just wonder. Okay, there was one here, so there's probably one per spire, because there's four spires and four plates. We got the one from the museum spire, let's have a look at the planetarium spire and see if we can find it. There's a crevice. Nothing here. Maybe down the cave. No, there's just the hole. Nothing here. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, just totally blew it. No, not the cave. Robins. No, not Robins. Never mind.
So, planetary spire, museum spire, map spire. This place is as creepy as the forest behind my house when I was a kid. Just the great. Okay, there's the beach. No plate here. Wait for me while I check out the top of the falls. Okay, but don't take too long. There's one on the Nexus and I missed it. I think there is. I think there's line one row in front of it. Okay, so wait a second. And there must be... No. Robins. Never mind. So then the tomb spy might be the only one. Okay, let's... Got something in the tomb. I just don't believe I missed them all. Okay, let's get down to the crypt again. Is there anything? No. the door. There's Robins. No. There's no metal plate here. Oh, I hate it when that happens. I just missed something. get to the face. Yeah, there's more the plates there. Okay, so now we have three, including the one already in there. Robins. Never mind. Uh, 
Maybe it's back here. I don't think so. Maggie, come to this side of the door. And we're just missing one more plate. And I just don't know where to find it. Let's see if it's down here. Probably not. Oh, there's a control panel. Never mind. Is it down here? No. Maybe there was one of those metal plates where we landed. We'll just go back up back upstairs. Have a look to be certain. Whoa, there's a lot going on. That's pretty impressive. It's radiating energy. Okay, I'm sorry guys, but I just forgot to get all these things with me. No, I'm not here. I know it's not in here. we have just this one and you won't do this that. one shallow indentations Sh shallow indentation and I would just missing one and I don't need where the hell it is <laughs> that one there's the planetarium tram let's get back to this one because the tram so okay and we've already got this one
have another look at the library. Should they all be in the library, in the museum spire? Or maybe some over here. Plate, 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 no. There's just a display. There's the library. There's a console. A control console. If this is a library, then this must be where you search and retrieve data. Where did all the plates go? No, it's not here. found one metal plate down in that underwater cave. Maybe in here, no. We can just take one more life crystal because we've lost one. Oh, this is ridiculous. I think it should be somewhere around the museum. No, not the museum spire, the um, the map spire it was, I think. shimmering a light that doesn't seem real as if it's just on the edge of existence it makes me think of something something i saw earlier ah, here we go or maybe i read it just totally forgot it's shimmering robins Can you look at this inscription, Maggie? Oh, okay, sorry, I just I didn't want to do that. Yeah, just Maggie realized that something in the inscription has something to do with this strange field and then she can use it. Okay, let's go to the island. And then this island just appears. This island was brought back from another dimension. What was so important that they left us exact instructions on how to get here? Maybe that metal plate over there. Yeah, the final one. That's the fourth one. If it's like the metal plates on Attila, these four should fit together in that triangle matrix. Yes, but there's no guarantee that putting them together will take us anywhere we want to go. You have the most cheerful thoughts, Ms. Robbins. Ms. Robbins? If you had been abducted by a monster and then half drowned, you might be pessimistic too. But you lived, didn't you? And your hair looks terrific again. <laughs> you sure know how to make a girl feel good. We better go find Brink again. Yeah. In case these metal plates do the job. He threatened to kill me the last time I saw him. Maybe it would be safer if we leave him and send an expedition back to get him later. An armed expedition. <laughs> There's no guarantee we'll ever get back. For all we know, this is a one-way trip. You're right. We can't leave him. He scares me, Boston. Hmm. Worse than the monster. 
They're both just hungry for something. But Brink is smarter, more dangerous. We're smart too. Let's go. Okay, so let's get out of here. Oh yeah, we have to get Brink. Whoa. That was a powerful one. Commander Low, can you hear me? Brink, we're looking for you. We've got the last of the metal plates and we... Listen to me, Commander. I'm trapped. I need your help. Where are you? It's near one of the light bridges. An arched bridge over a waterfall and then into a crevice in the rock. Yeah. You must have been there. You're the one who's been turning on all the light bridges, aren't you? Hold tight. We're on our way. Mm. Hold tight? <laughs> Very funny. And the planetarium spire. You've just got your hand jammed in the rock? I thought you were in real trouble, Brink. When would it be real trouble, Commander? When it's your hand? I don't go sticking my hand in <laughs> I was reaching for a life crystal, and then the rock shifted. My circulation is cut off. No blood is getting to my hand. Yeah, it's cut off. You can't pull me out, Commander. You can't pull don't me out. Don't leave me out. to die here. Don't leave Even me to die here. Even if you have to cut here. off my hand. <laughs> don't be so dramatic, Brink. Nobody's going to cut off your hand. Don't make promises you might not be able to keep, Maggie. Are you serious? He's just got a stuck hand. It's a race to see whether gangrene kills him before he dies of thirst or starvation. You'd cut it off. Of course he would. The military trains you to recognize necessity and do it. It would be easier if I had anything to cut it with. Chew it off, then! Oh, I would, Brink. But human teeth can't bite through bone. After all that's happened to us, this may be the most horrible. Do something, Commander! Do it now! <sighs> uh, if this ever gets made into uh, a sequel or something, I think Arnold Schwarzenegger should speak Brink. <laughs> That'd be pretty nifty. Well, my teeth can bite through his bone, but these one might be able to do the trick. You're going to saw off his hand with a jawbone? The teeth are razor sharp. What about anesthetic? Do it, Commander! <laughs> Brace yourself, Brink. <laughs> I can't believe you endured so much pain without fainting. I'm fine. But I'll need more crystals. Mm. Come with us to the Triangle Matrix. We've got all the metal plates. You think it's gonna take us home? You don't know where it's going to take you. I'd rather gather more life crystals. Mm. What if it does take us home, Brink? What if we can't come back and get you? Do you want to stay here forever? Then what will happen to your research into the life crystals? Yes, I see your point. I'll go with you to try out these metal plates. But if it doesn't get us home, then you two will stop interfering with me from then on. All right? You agree we have a deal? Agreed. All right, all right. 